Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Let's have some crafting fun. Stay tuned. So as you guys know, we are still having fun making boxes from our greeting cards. And this box was made using a nine and a quarter by three and three quarter inch card. And today we're going to spend some time making boxes from the card sets that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And those cards measure five by seven. So that is what we're going to be working with. And isn't this cute? So we're going to make a couple of these because they are so quick and easy to make. Let's get started. So I am going to bring in my scoreboard and my first card that when closed measures five by seven. But we are going to open it completely and then we're going to make some scores. So we are going to place that fold line in and by the fold line I mean where the point is. We're going to place that in our, and I'll do it this way so maybe you can see it better. We're going to place that score in at five and then we're going to make a score mark at six just a very light score mark and then we're going to take this and turn it this way and we're going to take that score mark that we just made and we're going to position that at three and a half and then we'll come back and I'm going to use my finger blade for this but if your trimmer has a blade in it just go ahead and take off the excess and then we're left with this so now I'll take it and turn it this way and I am going to take the point of the fold and position it at three and a half so I'll turn it this way so that you can see my line and I've got it on three and a half so then I am going to come back and I am going to make a score right here so I'll have a three and a half inch space here and a three and a half inch space here and then a one inch spine. So then I'm going to take this score that I just made and slide it over to the one position. And then I will go in my groove and make my glue flap. So basically what I did was I gave myself another inch so that I could completely make a box. So by moving it over to the one and then coming to the end of my board, I'm giving myself one full inch here and then I have my glue flap. So now I can take it and I'll turn it on my seven inch side and I am going to score this at one, at the top and at the bottom. And now we'll fold our score marks. We're not going to do any burnishing. We just want to do a very gentle score because some of you said that you were experiencing some cracking. So don't do a hard burnishing. Let's just fold those score marks. And then once we've got it folded, what we're going to need to do is on the end where we have this narrow strip, that's our glue line. So we're going to take off the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and bring in our blade and remove this piece. So I'm also going to angle cut in a little bit on my tabs. So I'll go up to the score mark, drag down, and cut in just a little bit. And I'm also, while I'm at it, going to just cut in slightly on the larger piece. So I'll come over to the next one Go up to the score mark and drag down. I'm going to angle in just a little bit there and a little bit here. And I will just keep doing this until I don't have any more tabs that I need to cut out. And then I'll come to this side and do the exact same thing. All right, guys, so we have got 
all of our tabs cut out, and this box is really ready to be put together. So this is our glue flap here, and I am going to take my glue, and I'm using my reptile glue, and I am just going to run it along that flap, and then I'll bring this piece up, and all I'm going to do is match it. So basically what I'm doing is I am matching my top to the bottom and making sure that my scores are in the right place. And then I can open this up just like this, just to make sure. And when everything looks good, I'll come back with my bone folder. We'll get everything nice and stuck down. And now guys, what we're left with is a wonderful flat fold box. And we are now able to take these makeup bunches, put them in a box, put them in a bag, store them away until we need them. And unlike the first one that we did yesterday, where we've got the top, the size, and then it folds in, because we're working with a much smaller card, if we did that to this one, we would only have about this much space left for the actual box itself. So I decided not to do the fold over method and therefore we have our flat fold that when closed is going to close like this. So we'll put our sides in, push in one piece, push in the other piece, and then we will secure the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing at the top. So we'll fold it in, fold it in there, and then we'll be left with this wonderful box that we can decorate. And the way that I am closing my box is at the bottom when I'm ready to actually use it for gift giving, I'm closing the bottom with glue, but at the top, I'm closing the top using mini glue dots. And you can see the glue dots on this one, one there and one there. And that way the top can be opened and closed multiple times and the box then becomes reusable. So that is how we make these wonderful little flat fold boxes out of a five by seven card. This is one card, guys, one card. So we are going to make another one because that is so quick and easy that we've got time to do another one. So this time I am going to bring in my Ho 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 card and I will be losing a little bit of the Ho 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 at the top, but that's okay. So again, I am going to take this card, take the fold point, position it at five on my scoreboard, then I'll come over and make a very light score at six. That gives me the one inch piece here. Then I'm going to turn this and I'll take that score that I just made and I am going to position it at three and a half and then I want to remove a little bit of the end. And the reason why I'm removing a portion of this is because I have to have one side that's slightly longer than the other in order to have a glue flap that'll fold over and construct the box. So now I'll take this and I'm going to turn it. I'll take that point peak and I am going to position it at three and a half. And I'll come back and make my score. And now I'll slide that score over to the one inch point and I'll make another score. And now I'll take this and I'll turn it and I'm going to make a score at one. and flip it in the opposite direction and make another score at one. And again, you can see that I lost a little bit, but that is okay. So now we'll come back and we're going to fold very lightly. No burnishing on this, just folding. And then we're going to come back and get rid of the two corner pieces so that we can create a glue flap. So I'll just come in, because I'm gonna angle these anyway. So I'll angle on that tab, remove that piece, 
and then I'll go up and drag down and I'm going to angle in here angle in here slightly come over do the same thing here and I'll just keep doing this again until I don't have any more tabs that I need to cut out and angle So there's our bottom, our top, and now we'll rotate this over and do the exact same thing on this end. Okay, so once we have all of our tabs cut out, again, we're ready to put this together. And the way that we do it is we're going to take this piece, add some glue to it, and because this card is heavily coated, I would use glue and not tape. And then all I'm going to do is just match it up, folding over the back to meet the front and making sure that I've got my points aligned. And when I think that I do, I'll come back with my bone folder. We're going to get everything stuck down. And now we have a wonderful flat fold box. And it's okay that everything is not symmetrical here because these are greeting cards. So you wouldn't expect everything to be symmetrical once you've scored and folded and cut out pieces. But again, you've got a very festive box that you can now take, fold in your bottom, fold in your top, place a couple of glue dots, decorate this bad boy up, and you have got some really fun and really festive little holiday boxes to be able to make. And I don't know about you guys, but I love making my own packaging because I think it just makes any gift that I'm giving all the more special. And now that we know we can take greeting cards and turn those into bags and boxes, notebooks and all types of goodies, a whole new world just opened up and we can find a greeting card for any occasion. And we can take that greeting card and we can make a whole gift set out of it. How fantastic is that? So guys, I hope that you are really enjoying this series of crafting with greeting cards because I am having a blast creating so many different ways that we can take ordinary cards and turn them into something spectacular, useful, and next level. So if you're gonna be making up a set of cards, boxes, notebooks, whatever it is from greeting cards, leave me a comment below and let me know how you plan on using these in your crafting. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye y'all.